Okay, this is part two of patient ventilator assessment. We've already assessed our patient, or now we're going to be evaluating our piece of equipment here to make sure it's working properly. As I mentioned earlier, the settings that uh, Mr. Dunphy is on, he's on a rate of 12 in SIMV mode, um, tidal volume 400, 21%, and a PEEP of 5. So now I'm going to be evaluating the machine to make sure that those settings are, are being delivered to the patient. So the first thing I do is, as I, I just kind of start at the top of the screen and start working my way down and around, I see that these are his settings down here. I also probably want to go into this mode and look and see what his other settings are. The inspiratory time is critical because we want to make sure that he's getting enough time to exhale. And you can see that should be set between one and a half to two seconds. And it's about 0.9, which is a little bit fast. But again, he's tolerating it, so I'm not going to mess around with that. We don't have a pause. Um, we have a little bit of a rise time just to kind of make the breath a little bit smoother. Um, you can see that our trigger pressure is down a little bit down here. And I'm going to adjust that so that it's going to go more to the flow sensitivity side so that um, it makes it a little bit easier for him to, uh, to trigger a breath. Um, we don't have the inspiratory cycles off at 30%, which basically shuts off the breath after 30% of the breath has been delivered. And then, of course, we're on a pressure support about two above peak whenever he breathes spontaneously. So now that I've taken care of that screen and make sure that all of these settings are appropriate, I accept that. And now I go back over here and I start looking at my other uh, information that I have. My peak pressure right now is running at about 33. Again, that's one of the reasons why it's important to assess your patient at the beginning is because if he needs to be suctioned, you want to do that first before you start taking these pressure readings. All right, we're at a PEEP of 5. That's what's being measured. All of these things over here are what's being measured. My respiratory rate is 12. That's what's being measured. My FiO2 is at 21% being measured at that. My measured minute exhaled volume or ventilation is um, 5 liters a minute. And my inspiratory tidal volume is about uh, 399. My expiratory tidal volume is about 413. So the machine is delivering what it's supposed to be delivering. All right, last thing I need to do is to check my alarms. Of course, over here, you've got all the little alarm indicators over to the side, but I'm going to go to this screen over here so that we can kind of see them a little bit easier. So we want our pressure, peak pressure, to be about um, 10 above. We're, on, we're set at 40. He's at 33, so I'm going to bump it up to 43. Okay, his minute volume is between 3 and 12, and his minute volume is at 5, so I'm going to drop this down. You want to be probably about plus or minus 2 to 3 liters on either side of what his um, resting minute ventilation is here. So that's going to be about 8. Be good. Okay, his rate um, is between 8 and 25. He's actually doing 12. I'll probably drop this rate down a little bit more, but he may start breathing spontaneously. So I'll probably drop it down to about 20. Um, the PEEP, he's on 5. I usually like to keep my PEEP a little tight. The alarms, usually about plus or minus 2 on either side of the PEEP. Because I don't want that PEEP to jump up to 10 before it starts giving him a, uh, or before I start getting an alarm. Okay? So now I've got all my alarms are set. The last thing I want to do is I want to double check with my patient. Mr. Dunphy, how are you feeling? You feel like you're get, still getting enough air and everything? Everything looks real good. You just hang in there, and uh, we're going to try to get you off this as just as quick as we can. Okay? All right. Well, I'll be back probably in a couple hours to check on you. See you. Come over here. All right. Y'all take care.